Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. Welcome to the creative kind. My name is Isolde Trachtenberg, and I am thrilled that you are here. Wow, I'm on a roll right now because I'm so excited to bring you this episode. It's going to be a little bit more of a tactical episode, but at the same time, hopefully it will inspire you to begin. First of all, wherever it is you are, start. Here's what I mean by that. Even if you don't know exactly what you're doing, begin. Even if you're scared, take one small step. Whatever it is, dedicate yourself to the idea of beginning. Because we can think about it, or we can get down and do it. Having said that, you kind of need to know where to put your foot down first, right? I feel a little bit like Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark testing in that thing where he has to go. Will a poison dart come out or is it an okay, safe place to step? Most of the time, I'd say 99% of the time, your creative self will step somewhere that will lead you towards the right direction. But if you don't know, then you need to figure out how to focus and where to focus. So as part of the other day when I was talking about your intentions, you need to figure out where you intend to focus your creative self. Now I get it, we are all busy, we all have things we need to be doing, we all have things we need to spend our time and energy on. And I'm not asking you to change your entire life right this second. I know that there's a place for that, but sometimes we need to go a little bit slower. The thing is, we need to go. So how do you do that? Well, first, dedicate a few minutes. Get up an extra five minutes early and spend five minutes on your creative life. Because your creative life is like your dream life. It's like your work life. It's like your family life. It's a major part of who you are. And most of us don't spend a lot of time dedicating to it. So dedicate five minutes. No more than that, you're good to go. Then extend Extend, <laughs> expand it, expand it out into six minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes. Ha 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 ha. Wow. 10 minutes a day on your internal creative life. What an amazing thing, but it's really important, isn't it? So dedicate five minutes instead of getting up at 6 AM, get up at 555. And I get that five minutes might seem like it's gold first thing in the morning and aren't you worth it? So think about it in those terms and yeah you are worth it but then how do you focus what do you do everything needs to be manageable so I'm not telling you that you need to again rearrange your whole life I'm telling you you need to make things manageable and if you're only gonna do one little thing today then that's okay do one little thing because that one little thing will lead to another little thing which will lead to another little thing and by the way, never do more than three at once. We start losing focus and concentration if we try to do more than three things as part of a project. So do three, no more than three every day, but do those three. So you might just open a journal. You might leave it open to a page to come back to later. And that's fine. If that's the thing you get to do today, then that's the thing you get to do today. But do something. Tiny, but do it. And no more than three. Choose a project. Choose three things that you can do. Write them down. Put them by your bedside. Put them on your phone lock screen. It doesn't matter. But remind yourself consistently of what you have dedicated to do. And yet, here's the thing. If you don't get to it, don't beat yourself up. Not today, not ever. Because you are living in an incredibly busy time there's no rest for the weary, right? So don't try to beat yourself up even further because it takes energy away from what you need to do and want to do with your creative self. So don't beat yourself up. If you didn't get to start today, dedicate to starting tomorrow. Or if you didn't get to start this morning, dedicate to doing something this evening. And then one small thing, no more than three. That's how to start, and that's how to make it happen. Until tomorrow, I'd love it if you would tag a friend, let them know about this show, 
and I send you all my love. Thank you so much for your attention.